praise the Lord God bless you uh, for choosing to watch this video uh, today uh, I thought I should make um, probably a short clip uh, I don't know how short this is gonna be uh, on the 2024 um, presidential election coming up in November uh, I've been hearing a lot of people uh, tell me oh, the race is tight Am I sure Trump is going to win? You know, and I thought I should make this video so it would be on record because most times I've spoken to people individually in a smaller groups. And um, but let me make this and put it out there on YouTube so that at least it will be on record before it ever happened. Like I had always responded to all those that you know worry about the election in November. I tell them, I've never been more sure of the landslide victory for Trump now than I've ever been when Joe Biden was running. Forget the madness in the media, forget the polling, the fake pollings you are seeing. Even if when their pollings are accurate, don't worry about them. What the Lord says, it what shall prevail. The Lord says in Psalm 110 verse 3, He says, In the day of the Lord's power, the people shall be willing. Like I said, not now from my own authority, but based on what God has shown me, and I put it down in this book. I'm not going to read. I'm going to read an excerpt of this book. You know, Trump the Great. I'm going to read it out for us to hear. You can find this book on Amazon. It's right there. Trump the Great. Uh, just type in it. will pop out. And I want to read uh, from this book. And mind you, on this book, it says, Trump the Great, the 45th and the 47th President of the United States. God's end time vessel. All right. So, this book came out last year, 2023, and uh, the things written in this book are things that has long things God revealed to me in 2016 and in 2020, right? 2020 was about the 2020 presidential election and the 2024 presidential election. You get a copy of this book, you can get all the gist in it. But I'm just going to read an excerpt of this book why I said to you that it's going to be a landslide victory. I don't care what is happening in between because I know God. He said, I am the God that declares the end from the beginning. When God revealed it to me in 2016 that Trump was going to win the 2016 elections, there was no hope. There was no pathway. You can't even believe that it's remotely possible. But it did happen. Uh, when God revealed to me on August 15, 2020, about the 2020 election and the 2024 election, He didn't show me all that would happen in between. He didn't even show me who Trump was running against in 2024. So, but all He showed is the outcome of the election. The God that declares the end from the beginning. And from what he showed me is going to be an earthquake landslide victory for President Trump. And like I said, for people to know that this is God, this is the power of God in action, moving in America, Trump is going to take Massachusetts the state of Massachusetts. This is the second um, strongest blue state in America. Massachusetts. Nobody is thinking. No pollster is talking. No one is ever imagining or has seen any pathway for Trump to take Massachusetts. And that's why I said, let me make this video again. I've made a video like this before that Trump, Massachusetts will be, the video is out there in YouTube, Massachusetts will be the proof of God's power in this election that God has chosen Trump. But I'm making it again 
because I see the panic. I see people saying, "Oh, there's this, 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 there is no chance. There is no chance for uh, a remote victory for what's her name, uh, Kamala Harris. There is no chance for a remote victory. It's not even there. It's going to be, according to the word of the Lord, an earthquaking victory. Now, so, not only that, uh, and I will. This this is not the Lord now." In fact, let me finish with what the Lord is saying. Then I will tell you my take on it. Let me read. So I'm going to read um, an excerpt from this book. I'm going to read directly from this book. I'm going to read just a paragraph. And I won't go further than that. And then I will go on. I don't want this video to be long. So I'm reading from page 30. And I read the first paragraph. It says, fast forward, that is, uh, and suddenly, this is, in this dream, I was having this dream and I was, talking to Trump about the 2020 election, you know, at that time. And then suddenly, you know, um, that scene was taken away and a new scene of an election came in, which is the scene of the 2024 election. Fast forward, and suddenly, it was election time, as if the scene was removed and a new scene had come, like in a movie. The new scene was in Massachusetts. We could see on TV people trooping out in thousands voting for President Trump to the point that the ballot box got filled and they said bring another. Trump was astonished, became lively again and exclaimed if it is like this in Massachusetts, what is it like then in the red states? He then grabbed he then stood up and was like a giant. He grabbed my hand and said, let's go. As I came out, sorry, as we came out of the house, we saw a long queue of black voters queued up to vote against Trump. He said to me, Cliff, what have I done wrong to your people despite all my care and effort to help them? I asked him not to worry about them because they lack understanding. Now, here is in this scene. I was at this point, God was showing me the scene of the 2020 election. It wasn't going good for Trump. Trump was demoralized, you know, rejected all my comfort. I tried to give him in that dream. He wasn't comforted. He refused. He said, No, he has lost the 2020 election. And as we were there in that demoralized state and all that stuff, the scene was removed and a new scene came into play, the scene of the 2024 election. And in this scene, we are watching the elections in Massachusetts. And, you know, the ballot boxes they gave them, the ballot box that was given for Trump, got filled because everybody was just, thousands of people were trooping to vote Trump. And this ballot box got filled. And they said, bring another. And Trump, when he saw this, he exclaimed, it's like, if it is like this, no, mark the point. If it is like this in Massachusetts, the second most blue state, most democratic state, most left-leaning state in America. If it is like this in Massachusetts, what will it look like in the red states? So, if it is like this in Massachusetts, what will it look like in the battleground states? I want you to think about it. If Massachusetts, now you can't see any poster or anyone predicting anything, saying anything that will ever tell you that Trump will win Massachusetts. But remember that you heard it, you saw it before it happened. The Lord showed me that Trump did tremendously well in Massachusetts, above his peers, above whoever is on the ballot. So, going by that, Trump is going to take Massachusetts. And if he's going to take Massachusetts, is it the what I call it, the um, battleground state that, you know, is a naked that you can take. <laughs> in fact, many states which we, we shock Americans, but the most, uh, the, the greatest one will be the one of Massachusetts. Massachusetts will be the proof of God's power in this election. Now, Let's come, this is not the Lord now. This is not revelation. This is my own thinking 
and my own analysis based on that statement there alone, based on that revelation, that if it is like this in Massachusetts, what will it look like in the red states? Now, based on that statement, my prediction, this is me now, analyzing, putting number, my prediction is that Trump will take 300 and probably 34 electoral votes. 323 before Massachusetts. If you add Massachusetts, then 334. That is my prediction. For the electoral votes, and then for the popular votes, this will be the first time Trump or any Republican will win the popular votes <laughs> in a long time. Trump is going to take the popular votes uh, this election. Not just he's going to win through the Electoral College. He's going to take the popular vote. He's going to win the popular votes. So remember these things. Let you know that God is on his throne. And he's doing a new thing in America and in the world. Mark the word of the Lord for it. Especially in the presidential election. Remember, I said, this is my own personal prediction in terms of electoral college, vict college victory for Trump. It's going to be 323 plus Massachusetts, 334. 334 electoral college, college votes. It could be more. It could be more. It could be more. But I don't see anything less between 323 and 334. But it could be more. Then, for the Senate races, it will be a sweep across America for the Republicans. Because the Lord has risen to do a new thing. Get this book on Amazon and understand the full gist of God's revelation and what God is doing in this end time. God is doing this because of the end time revival. God is doing this because his return to take the church is imminent, is on the palm. That's why God is doing this. So, child of God, it's not about politics per se. God has not shown me this because of politics. I am not into politics. But God has shown me this because of his imminent return. Because of the end time. Get ready. Prepare yourself, child of God. Keep your garment spotless. Keep your garment holy. Walk in righteousness. Look for a true church where holiness and righteousness is preached. Join them. I recommend join Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. That is where I know that the truth is preached without compromise at this hour. You can follow Holiness Revival Movement on YouTube. We have the YouTube channels. You can follow my channels. I do put messages of Holiness Revival Movement. Please do. Amend your ways. Change your ways. It's not time to argue. It's time to say what the, to look for what the word of God says. It's time to is it written in the word of God? Obey it. Because the coming of the Lord shall be sudden, and many will be caught unawares. I pray you won't be among those that will be caught unawares. I pray I will also be among those that will be caught unawares. That is why the Lord is doing this. The Lord wants to demonstrate his power. His glory in this end time before he comes to take away the church and let the world enjoy their father that they've been clamoring for, Satan, the Antichrist, and enjoy him in fullness. My prayer is that you'll be taken away before that time comes. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of your day. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>